Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another match. Back to Nanolids at Dawn. I remain your host, Chad, if you're A333, and we have another match on the sea with Marquis again and Nemor as well. We saw them before, and we were once again on Baron, like last match. Now, Nemor. We saw them last time, and they really loved their sirens, and they also really microed well. Marquis, on the other hand, went for Heavy Mistral. I'm curious if they're going to do that here as well. I mean, they went for Heavy Mistral eventually, and that was kind of in response to Aquanim going for a lot of cor of Typhoons. Uh, Corsairs. They're renamed now. They're now Corsairs. They're not Typhoons. They're also a different unit. They just have the same model. And it looks like Hunter is Marquis' opening. I mean, having a few... Yeah, the one Cutter... To help stop the Mariner. Not really kill the Mariner. Not really threaten it in any meaningful way. But, you know, stop it. At any rate, Nemor not really taking a huge amount of threat. Getting slowed down a little bit. But, honestly, not much more than Marquis had already slowed themselves down. So, Marquis not moving that fast. Getting their Hunters up. That's going to be the real threat. Hunters with 200 damage shots. That's 7-shotting... Well, 7-shotting Mariner. 7-shotting a Corsair as well. Although, that's not relevant. Corsairs will kill them way before they die. But definitely against the Mariner, that will be a problem. Anyway, Marquis... What do you have planned? Other than throwing at every single type of raider and seeing what sticks. I mean, there's that. Nemo, on the other hand, already prepared for this. Just, you know what? Why bother with raiders? I have a Corsair. That's what Nemo's saying. Although, that being said, the Hunter is coming in here already dealing some meaningful damage. It's kind of hard to see that it's actually dealing damage, but it is. It totally is. And nice getting rid of a Metal Extractor for free. Marquis taking no damage whatsoever in that assault. Not managing to get rid of the Mariner, but still dealing damage. It's still... I mean, it's free. There's nothing wrong with free kills. I mean, it's, it's an important rule in life. It's like, never refuse a free kill. Or is that... I know it's lunch. Eh, close enough. Don't refuse free lunches either. Anyway, Mark Eves with the Mistrals, as expected. And Nemo with the Sirens, as expected. So both players playing in pretty much as expected. So the question, of course, is what is going to come of that? I mean, the Seawolf managing to deal some damage to the Corsair. Nothing, nothing at all, except for the Urchin, able to get rid of that Seawolf. So the Seawolf has to be careful where it goes, but at this point, Marquis has the entire south side basically to themselves, since Nemo is not likely to go down there until they have enough Sirens to deal with it. And at this point, with Nemo's economy as it is, I don't know how many Sirens they're going to be able to get. Their Mariner's locked up entirely in repairs, just now finally building up some more metal extractors, while Markeeves is basically just free to build whatever they like. So, I don't know, Markeeves is... Just, okay, well, no, not quite pure Mistral. Mistral Corsair Seawolf. So, a bit of a healthier mix, and with that sub for the anti-sub, because subs do beat subs... Marquis will have a bit of a healthier situation right now because they're not in a position where they've just got Mistrals and they only have to worry about subs. They don't have to worry about subs at all because they have subs. And then other things have to worry about anti-sub, like Nemor has to worry about anti-sub because there are subs. Although Nemor also has the Siren, so I guess anti-sub is kind of handled as it is. Of course, really, how this goes is still up in the air. I mean, Marquis, they've staked their territory, they've split the map in half, they've taken the southern half of the map pretty much for themselves, so that's fine. I mean, they've done a lot of work as a result. That's really what they needed to do. As long as they can keep their economy up and keep the production going, and they are, they have the caretakers for it, as does Nemor, mind you, so Nemor with some good reclaim would be able to get that economy up. And we saw it last game that even when they're down economically, Nemor can be terrifying, just how much their units stay alive. That being said, though, there is the Serpents, and only one Siren to help deal with them. There's only so much it can do. It is such a big target. you got to be careful about that. And its missiles not able to do much. They, do, they don't seem to home that well. I don't think they home at all, do they? 
No, they don't apparently home. If they do, it's not mentioned there. However, oh, managing to get a nice lucky hit, having the health of both those enforcers. So, hey, it can do damage. And if the enforcers stop moving, they're possibly dead in the water. Right there. They're sitting ducks. Except they're not ducks. But they have a similar function. And they'll also be dead. Oh. At the same time, Nemor does have their own Mistrals. Not really able to get rid of Marquis as effectively as they'd like, though. The Sirens, rather difficult to use against mobile armies. That's definitely a bit of a thing. And we saw in both games, that unless the Sirens get up really close, they aren't that useful against a mobile army, unless that army is nice and bunched up. Which these Mistrals certainly aren't. However, those Corsairs almost were not quite enough. Splash damage not able to get to them. And Marquis finally able to get some repairs going. Marquis still has map advantage, though. The south side of the map still belongs to them. Nemor able to hold on to this. And the Corsair is getting way too close for comfort. That was dangerous. And one of them paid for it with their life. Another one might be coming in fairly shortly. Although, no, just a... Well, no. Seawolf's coming in try to deal some damage. Not managing to kill the Mariner. Which is good for Nemor. But Nemor, you need to build up more metal extractors here. This one over here needs to be built up. These ones over here, they need to be rebuilt pretty soon. I mean, Marquis has the south side of the map, but Nemor, not even trying to take the north side, just going for it. They're saying, forget it. I'll just kill everything. I'll just stop you by not letting you have those metal extractors. And then reclaim everything. Because that's how I work. How do you like that? Oh, I just got rid of the radar, too. So at this point, Marquis' vision... No, well, pretty much just line of sight. Line of sight and line of sight only. Nemor has quite a bit of room to maneuver right now, and Nemor also able to deal massive damage. Wow. The amount of damage dealt there in that fight, I mean, getting rid of all the sea wolves is huge. But at this point, Mark Eves has no sub force whatsoever. And so Nemor's lackluster anti-sub is irrelevant. Mark Eves... Now they don't seem to be trying to rebuild that at all, so Nemor also going for sub as well, now that the sub threat from Marquis is gone, Nemo's going, well, you've got a bunch of Mistrals, and once again, Mass Mistral. Maybe I'll go subs, because you have no options. You have Corsairs, you have Mistrals, none of them hit underwater. There is no way you can get in. Although the Sirens will also help a little bit if the Mistrals get too close to each other, but that's basically by chance. The Mistrals will never get close enough that the Sonic Gun's gonna hit, and those Enforcer Missiles, those Enforcer Missiles, the Destroyer Missiles, they're nowhere near accurate enough to deal with the speed. However, Seawolf... Oh, I don't... Oh, why one? Why just the one? It's so obvious. We're going to see Hunters right away. Like, Mark Eves, they're bound to go for something. Hunters, or maybe just Mass Urchin. Not entirely sure what. Looks like just Mass Urchin, which gives a lot of leeway to Nemo. Nemo could start building up, like, mad. Send this Mariner over here. Just build up all these metal extractors right away. If that's built up, then Nemo's economy gets on par... Nemor's production having a bit of problems thanks to the lack of energy, but that's getting fixed. However, yeah, if Nemor builds up over here, gets those metal extractors, that will turn this around, because there's no anti-sub. At this point, it looks like Marquis is focusing entirely on using static defense, which of course means that they're stuck in their territory. They're using static defense. They're powerless if they move outside of that. If they get outside of the range of static defense, they're done, and they're not going to do that. Which gives Nemor all the leeway in the world. They just need to, you know, produce stuff and not excess. Or, more importantly, build up metal extractors so they can produce more stuff. And Firepluck being a jerk as usual. But they are right. No Sirens is definitely a bit problematic. Or, to be more precise, no Anti-Sub is problematic. There is, however, a Siren. So Marquis isn't completely out of the Sirens. But, yeah, the Siren game is definitely in Nemor's favor. And we have seen Nemor knows how to use them. And now with the Caretaker to help repair on top of that, or to reclaim, either way. So either extra survivability, or just extra money. Either way, it all works out. Unfortunately, one of those Sirens is getting pretty heavily damaged, and getting body blocked by its allies. And that Caretaker going down to the Sirens from Marquis' side, so that Caretaker, it's done. Mistral finishing it off, but there are still more Seawolves. Although the hunt ah, there's the hunters. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. There's those hunters from Marquis. Marquis is really trying to fight without using sirens. 
and I gotta say they're doing a pretty decent job. They're still ahead. Nemo never managed to build up the metal extractors when they had the chance, and we saw last game when they were against Icons that Nemo really doesn't like building up their economy. Like that's actually that's a killer weakness there. If there's any weakness that'll kill you in this game, it is not building up your economy. It is super important to do that. And Nemo is not doing that. At all. Like, they have they have the Mariners, and the Mariners are so focused on repair, they're not at all focused on building anything else up. Or on reclaiming, for that matter. Enemy is right there. Mariner... Is Mariner build range? No, okay, it's a bit risky, but still. Stuff's right there. Sirens are dealing with it. To some extent. I mean, the Hunters are still causing problems, but... You know, Sirens are dealing with it. A few good Corsairs would actually get rid of these Hunters. And... Well, in the absence of that... It's forcing retreats here, but Nemor... I mean, okay, they would have lost this, but still, why? Why are you not building up your economy, Nemor? You're so focused on repair. It's... It's such tunnel vision. And it is gonna cost them, as the Mistrals don't really have any counters. The Hunters came in, got rid of the Sea Wolves. Nemor cannot build any counters, really, because Nemor doesn't have the money. And now even more so, as the Hunters just swoop in, kill everything. Good Corsair. I mean, definitely handy. But even that Corsair is going to go down pretty soon. I did say 7-shot. And that was about 9. And still 3 left. So Marquis attacking on all fronts. Nemor losing this a lot harder than I thought they would. Really, it's just it's the economy. That's all it comes down to. Nemor still has a fairly strong army. It's still doing a decent job keeping them alive. Good repair and everything. But they're just not building outside. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure Nemo's a team player. And that would explain why they're playing the way they are. Because they'd be focused on setting up, building up around one particular line, getting just what they need to have enough money that their stuff is protected, and their teammates are going to handle expanding to the rest of the map. Rather than being in the habit of building up workers and expanding all the time, and expanding and re-expanding and re-expanding and reclaiming everything, and... Yeah, that's not entirely surprising. At any rate, looks like this game is going to be going in Marquis' favor. Slowly but surely, a bit of a grind, but it looks like Nemor has no real options at this point. They have some reclaim to work with if they wanted to, but they're so focused on repair for obvious reasons, but still, they are very focused on repair, a little over-focused on repair, honestly, that it's impossible for them to really build up their army. Like, they can't get much, and that's it. That's They've lost their Mariner, one of the front Mariners. And... Apparently, they also had micro problems thanks to their mouse. Really? You had micro problems thanks to your mouse and you were microing that well? Holy crap. That'd be terrifying. Get a proper mouse. I want to see Nemo with a proper mouse and a proper economic game plan. But definitely a proper mouse. Actually, definitely both. Nemo, Nemo, get a proper mouse and learn to expand. I would love to see you playing knowing how to expand and with a mouse that lets you micro as well as you possibly can because. Sheesh, with the mouse you have now, you were still able to pull off some amazing things. At any rate, Marquis does take the match. And that is going to be that game. So... I think I'm going to not do the game I was going to do before, because if Nemo's having issues, then probably best not to focus on that too much. So I think I will close it off there. Hope you enjoyed that. Definitely was interesting to see how C game works, especially with all the changes that have happened. And that is otherwise going to be it. So thank you for watching, everybody, and have a good night.